Hello and welcome. This is the overview of MyCareer's newest top-of-the-line PIC architecture development system. Let's unbox the product and see what's inside. This is the box. As you can see, it is elegant and simplistic in design. It is also highly resistant to damage. Let's check it out. First layer off. This is the second layer and as you can see it contains a greeting message from MicroE. This is some hard paper. All right. Another protective layer. Let's see what's underneath. All right, here we have the user manual. The user manual is a very important document. You need to keep this safe and with you always if you want to program or prototype with the development system. It contains general information about the PIC architecture and the development board. Some information like connectivity, communication interfaces, power supply and so on. What's up next? Oh, the schematic. Here we can see how everything is connected and mapped. For example, the pins the buttons and the LEDs, the debugger, LCD display, cool. Next up is the code grip suite. Uh, this is the quick uh, start guide for the debugger. This is the software you'll be using when you want to program the MCU. Here is the installation, general overview and so on. Oh, cool. Stickers. Nice. Here we have some flyers. We can find information about other MicroE products like the TFT board capacitive, MCU card, and software solutions. Here it is, the development board. Oh. There we go. Voila! Underneath we have some cables and a few adapters. Let's take a look at the development board now and see, see it in more detail. And now let's take a look at the board in more detail. Look at the contrast between the black background and the white and yellow symbols. You can see every little detail clearly. Back here we have two height adjustable stands with non-slip pads. These non-slip pads allow the board to be placed firmly. The robust and durable but also elegant ergonomic design prevents the board from bending and makes it easy to hold. Here we have a power supply which powers the MCU separately from the rest of the system. This way no matter what you do with the micro bus pins you can't damage the MCU. Here we have a few ports for different types of power supplies, a USB Type-C, a battery and a 12 volt DC power supply. This here is the world's first wireless debugger. It uses the code grip suite and has an external antenna port right here. The EasyPick Pro V8 also supports external debuggers, which means that you can debug either by using a PC or a portable debugger. Here is where the LCD uh, display goes and this spot is reserved for the TFT displays. Capacitive, resistive, frame, bezel, you name it. MicroE has so far made about 16 TFTs of each type and all of them are supported by this development board. Here we have the power and reset capacitive buttons. And right here we have five micro bus sockets. Each of the sides has eight pins and they are all mapped accordingly. Imagine now how many combinations you can make with the 750 plus clicks MicroE has released so far. If you want to interact more with the pins, you can do so here and here, either by pressing buttons or using the switches. Or for example, if you want to read the digital signal of a pin, you can do so by using one of these guys. Here we have the uh, setup for the entire board and it can be configured with these switches. This here is an Ethernet port and this here is an additional USB port. Finally, 
we have the king of the hill, or rather, his throne. And why this throne is amazing is because it, it was designed to support all the MCUs from the Pick family, old, new, even ones that aren't released yet, which means that this port ages like good wine. It gets better and better as the time passes. That was all for today. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode, guys.